Hello everyone, this is Dan Bell, and uh, welcome to the cutting room floor. This is episode number six, and you are looking at some establishing shots that didn't make the final cut of my night visit to the Hilltop House Hotel, which, by the way, came out on Friday, and if you haven't seen that video, please follow the link in the description of this video and watch that before you watch this. So let's get started here. That th This shot here of that window, I love that shot, and I wanted to use that shot, but I thought if I used it, people would get confused and think that it was the hotel and that the hotel had lights on inside of it, which it did not. So that's why I didn't use any of these clips, but, but anyway. Um, so I think it was about a month ago or so, I started thinking like, what am I going to do for Halloween on the channel? And I really wanted to do something cool. And I was kind of thinking like, do I want to collaborate with anyone? Or, you know, do I want to do something like, I just, I didn't know what I wanted to do basically. So I started looking at the locations that I could shoot at and I could shoot at cheaply and easily. And the Hilltop House was number one. Um, it's easy to get into, it's easy to get to, and, uh, so I was like, can't go wrong. So I was like, I'll go through by myself, do a creepy video. Well, little did I know, nothing is ever easy for me. So, <laughs> so I got there the first night and I say the first night, it took three tries to get this video made. The first night I went got to the hotel. Um, it was probably around midnight when I got there. Midnight, 1230. I can't really remember. I did a periscope from the Hilltop house the night that I was there. And I said, I'm going in by myself. I'm going to shoot a video and you guys will see it soon. So I went in, uh, r as soon as I got inside, I was like, I can't do this. I was in there for about 45 minutes, which is not enough time to get a video made unless you're like, I mean, there's so much to see inside. This hotel is huge. It's not like a tiny hotel. It's enormous. So 45 minutes, you're not even going to be able to cover like a floor. Like it's just not enough time. So I was filming and as I'm going through, I'm like, you know what? You're not getting the shots you need. I, I just kept thinking to myself, you're not getting the shots that you need. So when I, when I got downstairs and I went outside, I was like, you definitely did not get what you needed. Get your stupid ass back inside and film a video. I was so spent at that point. I was like, I'm not going back into this place. I'm too freaked out. I don't, you know, there, it just, it's a creepy place. It's also there's only one way in and out. So it adds to the sort of anxiety that you have when you're there. And I'm like, I just can't do this. I can't do it. So I, I went back to my car and left and kind of under uh, kind of thinking on the way home, like, well, maybe you do have something. You always do this. You film something and then you think I don't have a video there. And then you end up having a video. So that's what I was thinking when I got home looked at the footage, I realized you absolutely don't have a video. This sucks. It's so stupid. It looks bad. You got to go back and do it again. So I was almost considering, uh, just completely abandoning the idea because I didn't want to have to go back, but I was like, Oh, let's just do it. So the second time I went, got there, pulled up and I see about 10,000 flashlights inside shining all over the place. I'm like, Oh, great. It looked like the place had reopened. I mean, there were so many people in there with flashlights and it was so strange. And I'm, I'm like, it's, you know, it was late at night and everybody's in there just partying. I mean, I went in and people were drinking, there was music. Um, I mean, it was crazy. I was like, what is going on? I, I couldn't, I just couldn't un understand how anyone could sit in this environment and party in it when it's so toxic in there, there's like asbestos and black mold. And I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in the air 
And, you know, these kids are jumping around, jumping up on the couch, you know, going insane. Um, So obviously no video was going to be shot that night. And I can't stand when I go places and like I run into people and they're like, who are you? Who are you? It's like, who are you? What are you doing here? Where, who are you? It's like, it, leave me alone. <laughs> Seriously. And I think when I walked up the stairs uh, in the hotel, and there's all these kids hanging out in the lobby, and I'm wearing a respirator, I have my camera, I have a light, I have a pack with all my batteries, all this stuff in it. These They looked at me like I was an, a space alien. <laughs> I mean, it was like... It was seriously, that's how it was. It was like very, um, awkward would be a good word to describe it. So anyway, I, I left, um, went and got some shots of Harper's Ferry in the dark. And then I, I got some great shots of the moon and the hilltop house in the moonlight, which, you know, those shots to me are the the best. I mean, they're so eerie looking. I love those shots so much. So um, so yeah, that was, that was good for that night, but I'm like, I'm going to have to come back and do this again. So, you know, it, it took three tries, three tries to make this happen. Finally, on the third try, I said, I'm going at two o'clock in the morning. I'll get there at two. There'll be nobody there. It's a week night. Nobody will be there. And sure enough, nobody was there. It was a ghost town um so i got in and shot the video and uh let's see where we are here we still well we're only at seven minutes okay what should i talk about next i did have a list but i can't find the book right now oh wait here i got it hold on it's the list is underneath of my dinner plate Okay, let's talk. Oh, yeah. Okay. 60 frames per second. Let's talk about that. A lot of people asked me to shoot a video in 60 frames per second. And, you know, it wasn't a format that I was really used to working in. I've never really shot anything in 60 frames per second, especially slow motion stuff. I wouldn't use 60 frames. I mean, that's kind of... uh, consumer or prosumer kind of uh, stuff. I mean, we wouldn't use those kind of cameras for slow motion. But anyway, um, the 60 frames uh, format was something I was not particularly excited about. Now that I've done it, I've shot, you know, this is the first video on the channel that I've shot in 60 frames per second. I will definitely do it again. I've actually already shot another video in 60 frames per second. It's not going to be every video, but I really like, um, I really like the, the, the kind of documentary kind of amateur kind of thing that it does. There's something about it. It, it, I think it works in some situations and that's kind of what I want to get into right now about my announcement that I want to make. So, I'm really thinking about doing a series where I do more videos like this, where basically I go to a place and I go in at night and do a uh, nighttime uh, explore of a place. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I think doing that 60 frames a second I, I don't, I think it could be gold. So I'm thinking about doing it. Um, but it, what, what I want you guys, I want your input. So please go in the comments and leave your thoughts on this idea. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. If you don't think it's a great idea, let me know. I think it's a great idea myself. Um, but I always like to hear from the viewers and let, you know, if you guys have an idea or whatever, just please let me know. But I think night solo uh, explores in 60 frames per second. I think that's, that's doing something right there. I think that's going to be good. So anyway, moving on, that's my plan. If you guys just put in the comments, let me know what you think, 
or go over on Facebook, write it on my wall, whatever. Whatever way you can to get in touch with me. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, people. Okay. We'll get to the paranormal here. Um, a lot of people ask me if I believe in ghosts. And really, that question is irrelevant to me. The reason being, I'm not here to try to prove or disprove ghosts or paranormal things. I'm here to make short films that entertain people. So my personal beliefs or what I believe in, what I don't believe in are irrelevant to this channel. And I don't want to really take any kind of stand. I'd like to say neutral because I really like everyone to enjoy these videos. So when people come to me with paranormal, you know, they're like, they're like, uh, talking about EVPs and orbs and all this other stuff. You know, if you see, you see or hear that stuff in the videos, good. You know, that's your, that's your observation. You can commiserate with other people about it, but I'm not going to take a stand on it. I'm, I'm constantly asked the question and you know, it's just something that's not really relevant to what I'm trying to do on this channel. This is not a paranormal channel. It is not, I'm not ghost hunting. I'm not doing any of that. I'm making, these are essentially short horror films is what they are. I mean, that's what I try strive to do. That's what I strive to make are short films that will s literally make your skin crawl. And that's what I'm doing. Um, another thing about these places now, when I go and I hear a weird noise or, you know, I hear some beat bang or whatever upstairs, or I hear something I'm, you know, it freaks me out sometimes, but honestly, I am so excited when it happens because it's great for the video. <laughs> so, so I invite those experiences regardless of what may bring them. But the last thing I'm worried about in these places are ghosts. I'm more worried about running into violent, crazy people who want to steal my equipment uh, or getting arrested. Th these are the two things that I'm most worried about. Or getting hurt is another thing that I worry about. Although that's always last on the list. Um, so a lot of people brought up the Satan stuff. Satan stuff. I don't even care about that crap. I see, you know, I, I go to these places, you see pentagrams, you see stars, you see all this shit. I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. Those people are so stupid. It's just kids. It's, it's young kids who are rebelling against their religious parents. That's all it is. Nobody, nobody is like, oh, I want to be a Satanist. You don't become a Satanist just because you want to be a Satanist. You become a Satanist because you're either misguided, you know, or you are okay, so rebelling against something, which is most of the time, which is what kids are doing, you know. Um, adult Satanists, I don't know any, uh, but, uh, I know they exist, but I don't know if they're going into these kind of old buildings and putting pentagrams on the, on the uh, counters of the f front desk or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, that's all I got to say. I wish I, I, man, I wish I had another like minute. I'd like to talk about something else, but we'll talk about it anyway, next week, whatever. Uh, I'm glad you all enjoyed the video and I want to thank all the people who supported me on Patreon. You are all helping me pay for these damn videos and I want you all to have a great evening and I will see you next week.